Welcome back. Esports, they've been exploding in popularity around the country and even locally too. Nebraska high schools and districts in the metro are investing in coaches and facilities to make sure esports athletes have what they need. 3 News Now reporter Alex Whitney has the details. Some teams compete on the court, others on the gridiron, but the newest team at Westside High School is stepping into the virtual world to take on their competition. It's basic soccer ideas. It's score the ball, hit the ball into their net, uh, but there's different like ideas and mechanics with it. So there's boost and you can go faster and you can do different things with the boost. Esports first started popping up at Nebraska schools just a few years ago. At first, most teams were at the collegiate level, but over the last few years, the sport has exploded in popularity and dozens of Nebraska high schools have created their own teams. I know for other schools, like in Nebraska, we've gone from just 20 or 30 schools offering esports um, uh, just a few years ago to now over 70. Tonkinson compares his coaching experience with that of a track and field coach. His esports athletes play a number of different games, from sports games to shooters and even virtual card games, and they compete with schools across Nebraska and across the country. Here we have our, one of our smash teams, uh, or actually both smash teams are both playing teams in uh, Missouri today, one in St. Louis and one in Troy, Missouri, and then our um, our Valorant team over here today is playing a high school in um, Indiana. The area's biggest school district, Omaha Public Schools, has also recently made plans to hire their own part-time esports coach. Each coach can help them like better expand the game or know exactly what to do in each uh, situation. Despite being so new, the esports athletes at Westside, who have already won several state championships and even a national championship, say their team gets the same respect as traditional sports and continues to grow. Don't be scared of being a uh, outcast or being someone who plays esports, it's not a bad thing. Um, I'm a friend of a lot of football players, baseball players, soccer players, and they all think it's pretty cool. They said if they had time and they were good enough, they would definitely do esports. Um, so just don't be afraid. And that was Alex Whitney reporting. Omaha Public Schools is the latest district to create teams and offer esports at all nine of its schools. They are still in the early process on hiring, but they hope to have a coach Filled, uh, filling a position soon, so we look forward to that.